So, what's the topic tonight? The topic tonight is the concept of nationhood. There are people, Jews in America, the majority of Jews, who feel that it's a problem that President Trump declared the Jewish people to be a nationhood, to be a nation, to be a nationality. I am here to tell you, as a Jew who was born in the former Soviet Union, whose grandfather was born in a place called Berdichev, and it's a very famous place in Jewish history, home to the famous Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev. The only reason Levi Yitzhak and all the people that were in his generation and all the people before him and his great-grandfather and, you know, his ancestors were going back generations were born in Berdichev is because... In the year 135 CE, in the Common Era, or what you Christians call AD, um, the Jewish people, the entirety, or the majority of the Jewish people, were kicked out of Judea. That's why we're called the Jews. And they went to... First they went to Italy, and then they went to Germany. And... So the people who went to Europe were called the Ashkenazim. It's not the people who were in the Hazarian Empire, which, according to every single anthropological study, comprises, I would say, 25 or maximum 5% of the Jewish people. So please stop your anti-Semitic canards. You guys who say Ashkenazi Jews are descendants of Hazarian Empire? No. I just did a 23andMe... Um, what is it called? A 23andMe test, and it came back 96% Ashkenazi Jew, and, I'm sorry, 99.6% Ashkenazi Jew, at 0.4% Western Asia, North Africa. What does that mean? That means that most of my relatives are Jewish people who got genetically bottlenecked there, therefore, there's a marker for Ashkenazi Jews. There's a genetic marker. If you guys look at the 23andMe test of the people in uh, people who are Sephardic Jews, the 23andMe test is going to generate uh, or spit out, you know, Spain, Portugal, North Africa, la 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 la. Does it mean that these people are Spanish and Portuguese in North Africa? No, it means that they are Jews who are Sephardic Jews, who are the Jews who ended up in those countries. If you know anything about genetics, that's what. That's what it points to, okay? The people who say that we are Portuguese, North African, and, I don't know, Spanish, ethnically, and we just happen to have a Jewish religion, nonsense, okay? We hail from what is Israel, Judea, and Shamron. And we got spread, we got kicked out of that land by the Romans, and we spread all over Europe, and all over North Africa, and all over the Arab world, and Iraq, and what today is Iraq, and what today is Iran, and what today is Turkey, you know, what was then, eventually became the Ottoman Empire. Guys, I'm giving you like a master class, I'm sorry to have to give you a master class in, in, in Jewish, anthropo Jewish anthropology, but I mean, seriously, this is the year 2000, almost 20, and we're still having this conversation. You can go on the internet and research the anthropology of the Jewish people, the history of the Jewish people, and you will, un and, and, and it's like, it's undeniable that we're from the land of Israel. You can trace, there are, I know, I know people, Orthodox Jews, who can trace their lineage back all the way to Rebbe. Rebbe meaning uh, Judah the, 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 the Nasi. Yehuda the Prince, the person who sat down during the Roman Empire, he took what was the oral Torah, and he set down the oral Torah, he organized it into, the, into, into written form, which became came called the Mishnah, the Mishnahis. I know people who could trace their lineage back to Yehuda Hanasi and, and I don't know, the, the, the Tanaim, the rabbis from the Talmud, Talmudic era 
in, in, who ended up going to Babylon. And some of them, you know, went to a place called Yavna after the Jews got kicked out of, you know, the, the, the temple was destroyed. I know personally know people who can trace back their lineage. These are Ashkenazi Jews, you know, whose families hail, you know, in, in, in contemporary times from Poland and Hungary, whatever it is. They can trace their lineage back. They have documents. They can trace their lineage back to Rav and Shmuel. To, to Rava and Abaye. If you guys know, if you read Talmud, you can go on Wikipedia and research this. We are a nation that hails from a particular land. The people who got kicked out of Europe ended up coming to America. The only reason I'm in New York is because my ancestors were kicked out of Judea, of Israel. They came to Europe. They ended up in Bergdichev. My parents ended up in Lvov. I was born in Lvov. And then we ended up in New York. It says in the Torah, I forget which Parsha, it says in the Torah, you are going to be scattered. If you don't follow my laws, you're going to be scattered. And we were scattered. The Torah predicts this. Like, we're still having this conversation 2,000 years later, over 2,000 years later, about we're not a nation, we're Americans with a Jewish religion, la la la. What are you, are you guys like brain dead? You American Jews, are you, are you seriously like, I don't know. I mean, like, it's just, it's, it's, you guys come from like your parents or your grandparents were rabbis. Some of your grandparents can trace their lineage back to the people I just described. And you're sitting here and talking about, oh, Trump declared us, a, oh, you're singling us out. Are you, we are called the Jews because we come from Judea, period. You know, you want to learn a history lesson, watch the movie uh, Monty Python. You know, the Judean People's Front, the People's Front for Judea, of Judea. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, it, it's like you have to be, I don't know, like, it's astounding. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. I'm, I'm like listening to this from people. Oh, I'm an American first. And a, are you on drugs? Like, really? I mean, I've had a couple of glasses of wine, but are you on drugs? <laughs> I just... I'm listening to this, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not computing. Ladies and gentlemen, I was born in the former Soviet Union. On my Soviet passport, it said under nationality, and I'm going to pronounce this for you in Russian, Yevrei. You know what Yevrei means? Jew. And you know what? The Soviet Union was right. I'm a Jew. They did it for nefarious reasons. Donald Trump is doing it for different reasons. To protect Jews on campus. They did it because they wanted to single us out. If we applied for a job, we couldn't get that job. We applied to go to university. We couldn't go to university. We had to give bribes or kickbacks or whatever it was. Most people, even bribes wouldn't work. Okay? On my passport, it said Yivrie. And you know what? It was God using the Soviet Union to make sure I never forgot who I was. And to you Soviet Jews who are, who are upset about this and are offended about, the, about, about this declaration, you know, you guys who want to be so cool and you want to be hipster, you guys who are my age and younger, you want to be cool and you want to be hipster, I'm telling you right now, always remember what it said on the fifth, what in Russian it's called, on the fifth line. Yivrei, ti Yivrei, okay? You're a Jew. You're a separate nation, and that's what you were meant to be. It doesn't mean you're, you know, you're supposed to live on a, in a ghetto, or you're better than everybody. You have a responsibility, that's another conversation, but you're a nation. You are dispersed. We are dispersed. We live in America, we live in Canada, Australia, Argentina, France, Italy, formerly Spain, some left in Poland, a lot are left in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Uzbekistan, some in India even. Okay? The Torah said this, the Torah predicted this, and it happened. Hashem told us this is going to happen, and it happened. And you know what though? We have our land now, we got our land back. And we're coming back. Half the Jews in the world are in Israel today. Almost half. Maybe, maybe it's coming up on half. One of our sages, the Rambam, who wasn't, he was a pretty rationalist guy. He said, when you see that more than half 
the Jews in the world are in Israel. Mashiach's almost here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go home. The president of America, the president of Asaf is telling us we're a separate nation. He's not kicking us out, but he's telling us, if you want to go home, go home. What's yours is yours. What Asaf said to Yaakov, what's yours, let what yours be yours. He's telling us the Golan is ours. He's telling us the Judean Samaria is ours. You can forget about this deal of the century. You know what the deal of the century is? When the Jewish people come home. That's the deal of the century. That's the deal of the millennium. Okay? When the Jewish people get their butts up, get their stuff, and come home. Because of Jersey City and Poway and Pittsburgh, you, you know, we, we, we're going to have more of this stuff. And it's not because of Trump. We're going to have more of this stuff because it's Kibbutz Galiot. It's time for the ingathering of the exiles. By hook or by, hook or by crook, friends. By hook or by crook. You, want, you don't want to do it the nice way. You don't want to do it because out of your own volition, Shem's going to get you home. He's going to get us home. All right? And for those of you guys who think that you're Americans with a Jewish religion, you know... All you got to do is read the Midrash, and I hope you don't end up like those guys in the Midrash that talks about Egypt. 80% of Jews stayed in Egypt. Whether you believe that's true or not, whether you believe in that story, even if you, count, if you consider it a con conceptual story, an allegory, you know what? I hope you guys don't end up like those Jews in Egypt, those 80% who stayed back and perished. We're the Jews from Judea.